Okay, I've been asked by a few people to show how I edit my gray backdrop. Uh, this is seamless paper in the color Dove Gray, and this is the edited image. So we'll go on over here to the straight out of camera. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a levels layer just to check out the exposure. It doesn't need very much, but I'm going to uh, lighten it just a little bit. And then I'm going to start working on um, the left side of the paper here. So I'm going to come and select my background layer. And I'm going to right click on it and duplicate it. And I'm going to name this layer Heal. And I'm going to come over here where the patch tool is. And this is a tool I'm going to use just to get rid of the spots and the creases in the paper. If you right click on the patch tool, you'll see other uh, healing tools in there. Uh, with a patch tool, you just circle the blemish and drag it to a clean piece of paper. That's a really fast way um, to clean up the paper. And then if you hit Control D, that'll deselect. If you're on a Mac, it would be Command D. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is extend the paper out to the edge of the image. Um, I like to work with as much image as possible in case my clients want to orient their picture um, for on the wall or they want to make a canvas. So uh, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to select the, that clean piece of paper that I just created and then I'm going to hit transform and just drag it over and then go up here and click the checkbox. Um, and then again, to get rid of the selection, it's Control D. Um, so that was pretty quick. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is even out the tones. This is a little dark for me for a newborn image, and I can also still see some texture in the paper, which is fine for some pictures, but for this one, I want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm gonna come back over here to my heel layer, and I'm gonna right click on it and duplicate it, that again. And then I'm gonna call this one paint. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and pick up my eyedropper tool so I can choose the color that I wanna paint the backdrop with. I'm, I still want a light side and a dark side, so I don't um, want to completely cover up um, all of my shadow over here. So I'm gonna pick a mid-tone, and you'll see that changes the brush color down here. Uh, after I decide on the color, I'm going to actually select just the gray backdrop by using the magic wand tool. And I want to make sure that this is sitting on the add to selection. And the tolerance, I usually work anywhere from 10 to 30, and it's set at 20 right now. So I'm going to try that. And what I'm looking for is just to see that it's picking up the gray and it's not spilling onto my subjects. Um, so I'm just going to click through the gray until it picks it all up and that looks pretty good um, I don't see any of it spilling on to my subjects and I think I've got all of the gray background so now I'm gonna go pick up my brush and I'm just using the average brush that I always kinda go to I use this one it doesn't matter if it's hard or soft right now because you've selected just the background I'm going to use the right bracket key to increase my brush size. Um, because I'm only at 40%, this is generally where I do my backdrops between 30 and 40%. You want to hold the mouse uh, key down. If you click multiple times, you're going to get multiple opacities all over your backdrop. You can start at 100% and then uh, reduce your opacity over here. That's what I used to do. Um, but now that I've gotten used to where I like it, um, it's easier for me to see what I'm doing uh, if I have it at the opacity that I'm going to finish with. So I'm going to start painting this backdrop. And I can go right over my subjects because they're not selected. And I'm just going to go over it twice to make sure I have everything. And then I'm going to hit Control D to deselect. Um, and then I'm going to come over here to my paint layer and turn it off and turn it back on to make sure it's not spilled onto anything that I don't want it to. And it looks pretty good. 
And again, I can come over here to my opacity on that layer and mess with it to see if I want to pull more of that shadow in. But I think I like it um, at 100%. Now this is basically done as far as the backdrop goes. Um, everything is nice and smooth. I still have a light side and I still have um, my shadow over here. Um, I would take this a step further because I have an action set that I use for my newborns and I'm going to go ahead and uh, play one of those so you can see what it looks like. Um, I use MCP newborn necessities and she's got some hazes in here that look really good on the gray and my favorite is Lavender Lovey. So I'm going to play that one and turn it way down to about 7 and um, that's off and that's on and it just kind of lightens it and makes it a little softer for um, what I would want in a newborn image. Um, and then after I would do this then I would go ahead and start editing um, my subjects in there. Baby skin tone is a bit red um, and that would need to be fixed. So uh, let's go in here and I'll take a snapshot of this. That's before the background and that's after. Um, and then once I edited mom and baby skin tones, um, that would be before and then that's after. If you like this tutorial and you would like some help with your own work, um, feel free to contact me. I make custom tutorials, so um, go ahead and ask away and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. Thanks.